Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a products I regret purchasing tag, and it's basically what the name says, products I wish I didn't buy. And this is the third time I'm going to be filming this video. The first time I was halfway through, my mom just barged in and was like, hey, can you sign this card? And I was like, whatever. And then I shut the door, I signed the card, I guess she took one of my pens, which I didn't realize, and I locked the door so she wouldn't come in again while I was filming. <coughs> That was my phone saying I have low battery, just in case you're wondering. And then I locked the door, and she was like, no privacy. She started walking, and she's like, I can't open the door. Why did you lock the door? And I'm like, what are you doing? And so then I had to go get my pen. Of course. So I'm going to start out. This first product is Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner in 865. It's a really pretty brown color, but I hate the brush it looks like this and it ends up in my crease halfway through the day which sucks and I really hate that and then the next one is this Ulta Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Aqua and it is the hardest eyeliner pencil you could imagine it hurts my waterline to put it on and I'm not going to put this on my upper lash line because that hurts too and I just don't want blue upper lash line so don't buy these, they're bad. And then next one is this Define a Line Maybelline Define a Line in Navy Blue. Which is more like a royal blue if you look at it. And I went and got this because I need a new blue eyeliner. And it stays on pretty long and it's really creamy, but it ends up like right here. Which is weird. It like skips a spot of skin and then ends up like there. I don't even know. You can only imagine what would happen if I put it on my upper lash line probably end up like on my brow bone knowing it's weird smudging tendencies so I really do not like this eyeliner and then the next thing I have is this NYC liquid lip shine in iced orchid oh that's not where that is and I had one of these and it was like pretty sheer but still pigmented and it was like sparkly and really cute so then I went and got another one and this one it's kind of shimmery, but not as sparkly as the other one. And I thought this was going to be like a cute sheer pink. Like, this color is the color it will make your lips. I look like a Barbie. Hopefully in the summer this will look better, because it will be like summer and brighter lips. But I'm just not a fan of Barbie doll lips. Next one is this Elf Pumping Lip Glaze in Baby Doll. And... I do not like this stuff. It has a weird smell and it does not last long at all. And I had to remove this stopper because nothing came out, even though I hadn't used like any. So now like all this product comes out on it. And I don't like the smell. I do like the tingly feeling it gives my lips, but I really don't like this. And the next one is the Soft Lips SPF 20 in Cherry. And this stuff smells okay. Maybe it's kind of cough medicine-y, but I don't mind that smell. But it's like water on your lips. It lasts for like 15 minutes and does not moisturize. And I really hate this. Next thing is another Soft Lips product. And it's Soft Lips Pure SPF 15 Shell Pink Sheer Lip Tint. And it's a pretty color. Like in the tube, but... It looks kind of weird on my lips, like purpley, and it smells good. If you've ever had Kashi Triple Berry Crunch, it smells like this. So it's so good, but it emphasizes the dryness on my lips, and it's like so thick that I can't even rub my lips together and like rub it around. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Next thing is this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Blemish Concealer in Buff. And it just looks like this. And for starters, this applicator is crap. I mean, I don't want a sponge tip. It just smears it around. It does not cover anything with this applicator. And I've tried dabbing it and then blending with my finger. But it still doesn't cover anything, even if you do the slightest bit of blending. And it's not my color. It is yellow undertoned, and I'm pink undertoned. 
and it was like ten dollars for this so I'm kind of mad that I bought this and then the next thing is this wet n wild color icon eyeshadow single in kitten it's just this purple eyeshadow and my mom told me that when I wore eggplant my blue eyes were really popping although then I found out that purple is supposed to complement green eyes not blue eyes which is kind of weird because she told me it looked good and I got this and it is pretty sheer so it's not like bam purple on your lids but I don't really wear colored eyeshadows I don't know what I was thinking when I got purple like I don't wear colors ever I don't know and then the next thing is this icing lip plumper and this smells horrible it has that plumper so I hate the plumper smell it's gross and if I'm gonna have the plumper smell that at least plump it doesn't plump like if I'm gonna smell this my lips would be plumping but no it doesn't and the smell like lingers on your lips I mean it's a really pretty color but I don't like it I never use it it's kind of old now because I bought it a while ago and I found this is like the first limp pl lip plumper I bought and I didn't know they smelled funny and this one doesn't even work so I'm mad I bought that and those are the products I regret buying oh actually no it's not I have one more and my brush thing I just saw it out of the corner of my eye it's the swirls brush it's actually called swirls not just because it has this pattern and I bought this because I like the pattern and also I like this other brush it came with because it came in a pack of two but this one I thought it was a crease brush because you know I wasn't paying attention and I was like ooh dome shaped brush crease brush and I grabbed the whole thing it's not it's a smudger and it's like that spongy thing that comes on the end of eyeliners and I don't smudge out eyeliner so it's pointless I should have just gotten a different shade of brush and not this stupid brush and that's all the products hope you guys do this tag bye uh, that's funny got hit okay first bloopers